What up, guys? It is a beautiful day in Sydney today. I'm not sure if you can see out here. It's looking mighty fine. She's just a little bit windy. I was going to go down to the Seacliff Bridge with Simon this morning. Uh, I really want to go down there and launch the drone. This is the most beautiful view, but a little bit too windy, so I'm going to stay put. I've got so many emails and things to catch up on. But first of all, let's go hit the gym. Yeah! Get off. We've got the whole entire gym to myself. This is what I love about this gym that no one actually works out down here. That's what I'm gonna be cycling in front of. Get out of town. you know who you are and what you want, the less you let know, things upset you. How good is the beach? Seriously, I frothed out at the beach. Having the gym down at the beach now, I absolutely love. This is something I've been thinking about doing for a while now, and I went camping with Brandy Anthony in Florida. We went down to the Keys. Guys, we're doing this like old school, like Guys, real style. Do you camping. put the steaks or the poles in first? <laughs> Serious question. You do the steaks first. Is it really the steaks? I don't think it's the steaks first. Do the corner steaks first. You guys, which one is it? Poles, right? It's the poles first. You guys, listen to an Australian who knows camping and outback. We're in Key Largo, the Florida Keys. It's the poles. Luke steaks. Do you know how hard it would be? Do you know how hard it would be if you put the steaks in first? You guys, I wish you guys could stop him right now. He's going to make this so hard. Paul, it's the steaks? What? I grew up camping with my parents. Um, when we were younger, I used to camp all the time. That was like our holiday. Everything around camping, everything that camping stands for, getting out and about with family and friends, having a fire, cooking outdoors, sleeping under the stars, all that stuff, I froth out on that. And so look, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like I've lost that a little bit, the older that I've got. Like, I feel like camping is something you do with, with your parents when, they're like, when you're younger and then sporadically you might camp here and there, but there's a camping ground that isn't too far from my house. Uh, for those that know me and follow the channel, I live at Cronulla, I live at Cronulla Point, beautiful part of the world, like seriously, I feel absolutely blessed to live here. The camping ground is like seriously over the beach, uh, but I, it probably takes me about 20, 30 minutes to drive there, I need to drive around the ocean. I wish there was a bridge that went straight over there, but I guess this is part of the adventure, is this driving there. So what I was gonna do today, I was gonna drive down there and check out this camping ground and see what it's all about. I'm gonna jump in the car and drive down there now. Ew. Hey boss. What are you doing, you just got home from work? Yeah mate, got a little more radio here. Hey, this is this radio on earth. See your uh, double bass boost? Yep. Boom boom. Peace out. Yeah. Up the charts. time to actually drive down to this campground to check it out. It is like, what is it, 4.57. We got a mixture of like parents picking up all the school kids from after hours care and then everyone finishing work and driving home. 
why didn't I do this straight after I went to the gym? Like, ah, oh, for goodness sake, Daniel. Why weren't you thinking? Uh. A slight little issue. Um, I've just been driving for about 35 minutes now into the National Park and my petrol light has just come on. Um, I've just been at a petrol station for a long time and to top things off, I forgot to bring my wallet. Come on, Dan, come on, get with the program. So even if there's a petrol station out here, I have no money, no card to actually pay for fuel with. I still gotta drive 40 minutes back to Cronulla. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit screwed. Dan, pick up your game, what happened? Alrighty peeps, so we just got down here. I don't know if we're gonna have fuel to actually get back, but uh, we'll worry about that afterwards. So this is a campground here. Bonnie Bale camping area. Vehicle day pass, $12 additional fee for camping. No fires. That's so annoying. These look like the bathrooms down here. Always nice having proper bathrooms while you're camping, but not an absolute necessity. big was that Gowana? That thing was freaking ginormous. That thing was longer than me. Those things actually like run at you, they can run right up your body. And I don't know if this is over myth, but I'm pretty sure if they bite you, your wound doesn't really heal. Chuck an answer in the, in the comments down below if I'm wrong with that. Maybe it's a different animal, but I'm pretty sure it was the Gowana. Seriously guys, you need the book online to actually get a camping ground in here. I like, I'm a bandit for not reading. I just like look at pictures and I wander on through. I saw a picture of a camping ground tent. Just went on straight on through. I have no petrol. Give me more. No fuel. I need to see if I've got any like cashola in my car. Like anywhere. Is that a coin? We have 50 cents guys. Boom! Gold mine. Okay, so we have five, six dollars fifty. Six dollars fifty to get us home. Let's get some fuel. Woo! I found a petrol station, guys. Winning! Oh my goodness, six dollars fifty. I hope you actually get us home. Six dollars fifty in the car. Is that good? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, hopefully, I've got to get back to Cronulla. All right, let's hopefully we can make it back to Cronulla. Oh my goodness, that's semi embarrassing. Paying six dollars fifty worth of fuel. The lights turned off. It's a miracle. All right, since we're running on the smell of an oily rag, I actually turned all the air conditioning off to try and minimise the fuel consumption. I think we're gonna make it home to Cronulla, guys. Like six dollars fifty. I think you have saved my life. We could have been stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. I would have had to call roadside assistance. Cannot believe it. $6.50 got me all the way home. 
What a freaking epic day. Guys, if you're loving the videos, please give them a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below. I'm trying to get back to everyone's comments. Just say good day or ask me a question. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button. There's also a bell next to it. Click that bell. It means you get a notification when my videos go live. If you've already subscribed, go back up there and hit that bell. That means you get a notification. It's so much easier for you guys. Um, also, vlog number five. That's why I'm doing the competition with this Samsung Gear S3 watch. I'm um, giving away a brand new one of these to uh, one lucky person. So I'm going to be picking that winner out of the comments on Monday. I'm not sure when I'm going to actually announce the winner. I might try and do it in a vlog. But uh, anyway, I'll let you guys know. Have the most amazing day slash night wherever you are. Live life to the full, travel safe, and say hi to your mum. Peace out.